Hello and welcome to my video. Today we're going to talk about something really important when it comes to singing and that is the problem of overthinking. If you are a singer that overthinks, this video is for okay. you. Number one, there's a really strong rule that I use when I teach people, okay? And that is thinking and singing don't mix. This was a quote created by my mom, Naomi TK, years and years ago, and she shared it with so many singers and totally changed the way that they sang and their ability to sing like themselves and not like another artist with this one policy, okay? Now here's the thing. Singing is an action. It's an action like running or talking or swimming or riding a bike or driving a car. These are actions. Singing is an actual action. Singing requires that you use your machinery of your voice, which are seven muscles, to create the sound that your voice is, right? And you cannot think a muscle into working correctly. Okay? All right. If you are somebody that sings, and every time you listen to yourself afterwards, you think of all the terrible things you did in the song, that means you're an overthinker. How about listening to your voice afterwards, and then, instead of looking at all the things you did wrong, pick out all the things you did correct because you kind of get more of what you put your attention on, okay? So when you're singing, right, what you want to do is put all of your emotion and your feeling and your energy into your voice and into singing. You don't want to put any thoughts there because as soon as you think about the way that you're singing, you're not singing with freedom. Have you ever tried to think while you were trying to breathe? Have you tried ever tried to like breathe, you know, just take some breaths in? Okay, good, now go back to breathing normal. Is that very easy to do? You're still overthinking it, aren't you? Yeah, this is what happens with singing too. The job of somebody like me, this is what I do with my singers every single day, right? Is to help them figure out what they're doing wrong and what's creating the problems that they're having and resolving them. Now I have a pretty strong idea that if what you were doing right now about critiquing your own voice was working, it wouldn't be happening anymore. You would have been able to resolve the issues that you were having, but I have an idea that you are looking for more help with your voice, right? Because maybe you were not the best person qualified to help yourself with your voice, right? I teach in a way that is for pop music specifically, for R&B and rock and hip hop and blues and country and R&B and all that fun stuff, right? Which is kind of different than classical music if you think about it. The scales are different. The way that you breathe is different. Breathing in classical music is how many notes can you sing on one breath? That's the game for classical music. Well, listen to Alicia Keys or R. Kelly or Michael Jackson or Bruno Mars, and they use their breath to convey emotion. And there's the thing. Singing pop music and R&B has to do with conveying an emotion, right? And you cannot overthink an emotion. You can't do it. It's crazy, it doesn't come across real. But if you're trying to sing a really high note and overthink the note, it's not gonna come out, why? Because the high note has to do with emotion in the way that you feel that is producing that note. Why are you singing a high note? Is it just so you can show off your voice? But then you shouldn't be doing it. If you're singing a high note to show the very biggest impactful part of the song and you're singing with freedom, then you should be singing the high note. And that's the reason that the high note was created in the first place. People that perform songs and write songs, and even famous people, the reason that the high notes are there, the reason why the ah runs are there, are because they have to do with the emotion. And you can't think yourself into how angry you are at somebody or how excited you are for winning the lottery or any of those stuff. They come before you can even think of them. And this is why you can't overthink when you sing, okay? The way to handle the problems of your voice that you can't stand is to get the help that you need with your voice. I teach in a way that helps people really, really fast because all you need to do is resolve the problems that you're having, not start from the beginning of training. And this is really controversial sometimes, right? But the only thing that stops you from having confidence in your voice are your limitations. And what are your limitations? Your limitations are your lack of muscle strength to do exactly what you want to do with your voice when you want to do it. Am I right? Do you feel like maybe your voice doesn't sound the way you want it to when you sing and then when you go and sing out or when somebody asks you to sing, you don't want to because it might not sound the way you want it to? Yeah. Well, 
I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, but overthinking it is not gonna fix that. It just isn't. You have a physical lack of strength in your voice. And there are seven muscles that control the way that your body produces sound in the way that your voice sounds, right? And there is a science. There is where your mechanisms come in. But you cannot think yourself into walking perfectly or even doing an amazing gymnastics move. Your body has to have the muscle strength physically to do it and then it does it, okay? So go on over to voiceofsize.com, check out the Voice of Size singing kit. This gives you all eight of the muscles and all eight of the exercises you need to use to control the muscles you use to sing with. And once you get all of your eight muscles working correctly, like the way that you walk or the way that you drive, you can actually completely control what's going on. Now, when you're driving, think about this for a second, okay? You have the okay to think now. Okay, so when you're driving and you get into a car accident, right? What happens when you get into a car accident? Does your attention wander? Are you thinking about something? If your attention is going forward and you are performing and singing, there's no thinking involved. You're doing actions. If you're like, oh, okay, now I need to make a right turn. Okay, now I'm gonna put the turning signal on. Okay, I'm gonna put my foot on the accelerator. Now I'm gonna take it off. You don't have very good control of the car. It has to be like a fluid motion and you have to have the instincts and the ability to do what you're trying to do. So there's my tip for today. I hope this helps. I hope you, all of you overthinkers can stop it. Just stop it. And I hope that you have an amazing 4th of July and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.